Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Comically Speaking with Spaz. On this episode, I want to discuss damage. Now, damage grew out of the events that happened in the Dark Knight's Metal series and all that fun fiasco stuff that uh, DC did. And there was a whole series of these, uh, of, actually, should I say, a new age of superheroes. There was uh, Damage. Uh, there was um, the Terrifics and Sideways and uh, Curse of Brimstone and the Silencer, uh, New Challengers. None really caught my attention as much as Damage did. Now, the problem with these DC titles was the fact that they resembled famous Marvel characters maybe a little bit too much. Was that intentional? Uh, I sure hope so. But like Damage... Uh, this is issue one, by the way. Damage was very much like the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, the Immortal Hulk. The difference now is while Marvel was putting out the Immortal Hulk, which has a more uh, horror slant, uh, kind of a spooky or haunting vibe to it, Damage was more of this just this big monster who just who would just go around and smash for an hour, an hour a day. He only was Damage for an hour. Let me explain. There was a guy named Elvis Ethan Avery, I believe, and he was part of the army, and all his life he wanted to be a hero like Superman. So the army offered him the opportunity, much like, let's say, um, uh, the, thing, the thing that Captain America went through, you know, to be injected with a serum and become a superhero. Well, what the army did instead was they created more of a monster. And what, what Damage would do, you know, he was a normal guy, but for one hour a day, 60 minutes, he would become Damage. And, uh, you know, they were going to use him as a weapon of war. So he thought he was going to be a hero. The army wanted him as a weapon of war. So what does Damage do? He goes out and he causes damage. He goes out and he pounds and he destroys any city that he's in. He's... he's he, as a monster, he's angry, and he battles with um, Ethan, uh, uh, his his human form, and they're always having conversations with each other, and there's always action. He's going from town to town, and he's just, you know, he's on the run. Uh, he's got the army following him, you know, the people that turn him into damage, and he's coming across other DC characters, like, let's say, Poison Ivy. He meets the Justice League. And he meets Wonder Woman, uh, and it's it's really kind of an exciting series. It's real fun if you get past that whole oh it's just another Hulk uh, type thing. But it's fun. It's it's fast paced. It's it's wonderfully illustrated and uh, beautiful coloring. Uh, for example, that looks quite wonderful, uh, and it's it's a fascinating and fun series. And uh, this whole new age of, of uh, superheroes was a nice try at introducing it. It just never really caught on. The one I just showed you was uh, uh, issue one. And uh, there's all these issues of damage here. Uh, he, you know, like I said, he meets Poison Ivy. And I, I think Swamp Thing is in there. Oh, duh. And it's action-packed. It's fun. And... The unfortunate thing is that, you know, it never really captured the interest of comic book collectors or readers. But I thought it was really fun. And this right here, issue number 16, is the final issue. Um, there was a Damage Annual. This issue sort of tells a story that's, you know, out of sync with the rest of them. But um, this right here is the final issue. And it seemed like they sort of cut it short a little bit. They were probably planning to finish a certain story arc uh, and move on to the next thing, but they were told to um, they were told that issue 16 was the last issue. So instead of ending that story arc and moving on, they just sort of ended it quickly and sort of wound it down. And you know, it's a satisfactory ending, but it's also open ended. So uh, I'm not saying that Damage is, is going to come back in his own book, but he's possibly going to come back maybe and make an appearance uh, with the Justice League or with other characters. So if you're a big fan of, of the Hulk and you want to see sort of uh, a different take on that same type of character, uh, definitely 
check out Damage. All 16 issues are now available, as well as the uh, Damage Annual. And I believe there's already a trade paperback that compiles the first so many issues of this, and there's probably going to be another one, and it's going to wind everything up. But I really enjoyed Damage. I think if you're looking for something fun, I really recommend it. As the cover says, Damage is done. That's it. Until next time, this has been Comically Speaking with Spaz. Fin Fang Foom!